In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the critical region for this two-tail hypothesis test, um, where we're working with a binomial distribution with n is 120, p is 0.3, and a 5% significance level. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to multiply 120 by 0.3, the n by the p, to get 36. This is the mean of the binomial distribution. So that tells you effectively that we don't want to go too far from that value when we're looking for values in the list uh, using binomial CD. So we go to menu and then we go to number seven and then scroll down to binomial CD, number one, and then go into the list. So the values that we type in here, uh, we're going to need to look at both tails. So the X column, we need to type in values that are less than 36. So let's go with uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29, just to kind of start off. Let's see what we get. So N is 120, P is 0 0.3. I can always change those values of X in a moment if they don't catch where, uh, the values I want. So I'm looking for the overlap of half of the significance level because we're doing a two-tail test here. So it's actually 2.5%, 0.025. So actually we've just caught it there, 25, 26. So we want the probability of X being less than or equal to 25 and the probability of X being less than or equal to 26. And we want to write these to four decimal places. So 0 0.0159 to four decimal places. And the next one is 0.0266 to four decimal places. Now look how um, that's 0.0266, but in the table, you can see it says 0.0265 because in the table, it truncates the value. It doesn't round it for you. So you must make sure you round it correctly. Otherwise, you'll lose an accuracy mark. So this one is less than 0.025. This is one is greater than 0.025. Okay, so that is the bottom tail. We now need to look at the top tail. So we want to look at values greater than 36 now. So I'm going to change these values up. Uh, let's go to 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Let's see if that does it. Press equals, press equals. And now we're looking for the overlap of 0.975, 2.5% from the top. And unfortunately, I haven't caught it. OK, so I'm going to need to put in some more values. So let's go 46, 47, 48, 49. Press equals and equals again. Right, 0.975. Here we go. So it's between those two values there, 45 and 46. But we know from experience that we need, um, because this is showing us less than or equals to, I need to find greater than or equals to. And it's not 45 and 46. You need to add one to both of those. So we look at 46 and 47. So greater than or equal to 46 is one take away less than or equal to 45. OK, which is 0 0.03119. Uh, so that's going to round up to 0 0.0312 to four decimal places. And greater than or equal to 47 is one take away less than or equal to 46. Which is this one here. Uh, so 0 0.01, uh, 0 0.1, then we've got 997. So if you're rounding that to four decimal places, then what we want is 0 0.0200. OK, so this one is greater than 0 0.025 and this one is less than 0 0.025. So the ones that are less in both of these groupings, so that one and that one, tell us the critical region. So the critical region goes from um, so 0 up to 25. So you could write this in um, 
interval notation, if you like. So from zero up to 25, union from 47 up to 120. So any values between 0 and 25 inclusive and 47 and 120 inclusive will reject the null hypothesis.